Everything that we know about ourselves and the world around us is through our senses. It's through what we see, what we hear, what we smell. And likewise, everything that we feel, we see, we smell, we don't feel, we don't uh, tell ourselves, we don't recognize, has a role to play when it comes to well-being. So what is this well-being? What is wellness? Let's begin with demystifying that a little bit. Now there's so much information available on wellness. Are we talking about health? Are we talking about food? Are we talking about lifestyle? Are we talking about exercise? Are we talking about weight loss? All of this is true. But if we have to really simplify this for ourselves, we're talking about wellness and well-being being daily practice. Now, where do the arts and well-being come together? I feel they're synonymous because both talk of interconnectedness. Well-being is the integration of the body, the mind, the spirit, on an everyday basis. How is it that I'm feeling, I'm responding, I am engaging and interacting the world with the world inside and outside of me? The arts for me is a part of my everyday life. I see patterns, I see colors, I see shapes, I see people, I hear voices. So like the arts is all pervasive and the practice of the arts has enough merit in taking care of our psychological health. Likewise, well-being is about coming back home to yourself. It is about the integration of the physical, the social, the emotional, the psychosocial self. Now, I'm going to tell you a story. This is a story of two acrobats and a student and a teacher. The teacher was a poor widower and their act would be to walk on the streets. The teacher would have a long cane and the student uh, her name was Mida. Mida would climb up on that pole, balance herself on the top as the teacher would walk on the ground holding support. Now this required a lot of attention. So the teacher told uh, Mida one day saying that let's do one thing. Given the amount of concentration and focus this requires, let me take care of you and watch what you're doing while you pay full attention on what I am doing. In that way, we would be able to bring all our concentration and awareness and ensure that we can continue to do what we do, make money, also we can avoid injuries and accidents. This young wise girl instead said to her teacher, No, let's do it differently. I will pay complete attention and focus on myself while you pay complete attention and focus on yourself. By doing this and taking care of each other and taking care of ourselves, we are actually taking care of each other. Now this for me is a very powerful story when it comes to well-being. It is about the ability to practice taking care of oneself, self-compassion. Because that automatically is going to open up into taking care and accepting another. The arts plays a very important role in this. And I say this because we have all experienced the arts in some form or the other. For some of us, it would be colors and hue that brings about a certain set of stillness. For some of us, it would be movement. For some of us, it would be music. There is an artist within each one of us. And the minute I meet the artist within myself, I am focusing on my well-being. I am focusing on centering myself to exactly how I'm responding to myself and the world around me. So what are some of the things that we can do and what do we mean by working with the arts for well-being? Now I'm going to break this down into four parts and say 
how can I work with the arts and look at four types of resiliences. So let's begin with the most common, the physical resilience. My body, paying attention to my body, befriending my body, looking at it through very simple movement and awareness. Can I just pay some attention to even see as I walk, is it my heel leading my feet or is it my toe leading? I think beginning with physical resilience would mean focusing on body sensations, memories, working with the body so that you don't have to be a dancer. And when I say movement, it could be play, it could be directive play, it could be just simple movements and exercises. The second that we're talking about is mental resilience. What does it do to invest in building my stamina to adapt to changes? How can I challenge myself with it? So can I get out of my comfort zone? What is it for me to actually meet the theater artist in me who actually allows me to engage with myself in the world outside of me? So can I start looking at building my mental resilience and stamina each day? The third, emotional resilience. What is it for us to start looking at ourselves for who we are? Which takes us back to the question on who we are in the first place. But can I pay some attention to my thoughts, to my feelings, to what is this doing uh, in the way I'm responding on an everyday basis? Can I actually cultivate and nurture positive thoughts and emotions each day? And the last of it is social resilience. What do we mean by social resilience? I have a role to play in this world and the world has a role to play in my life. So what is it that I'm doing to engage with another? Can I begin with just the practice of gratitude to know that there is another in my life? All of these four are very interconnected because each one of them come together to bring us back to who and what we are. So here's where it is when it comes to talking about uh, just how it is for us on an everyday basis. So wellness and well-being is about demystifying this idea to say I need to set aside a particular time of the day to be able to focus on this. Well-being is about practice. It is about a daily practice that I can put myself into to just bring myself back to myself. This is what uh, well-being uh, means and I think this is what this is what is my understanding of what well-being is and here's an invitation to each one of us. What would it mean for us to practice some amount of stillness, pause, step back, look at things around us, look at colors, look at hues, listen to sounds around us and for that, again, like I said, I do not have to be an artist. So the arts plays an absolutely important role in helping us make this integration, in helping us recognize the interconnectedness of things. I would like to end uh, with a quote by Rabindranath Tagore, in which Tagore says that when I see uh, I see, when I see the universe through my songs, I recognize it and only then I know it. So can we see our own universe and world through these songs, through our songs, through our narratives and bring ourselves back to be friend, that friend within each one of us. That would be our step at well-being, at wellness. Thank you.